Congratulations. Thank you, man. Brilliant movie. What attracted you to this project? Honestly, just um, the people who were working on it. I got a chance to... My Actually, my first initial thing to it was, it was kind of a last-minute audition. I, I was working on another film at the time, a TV show, and they just kind of sent it. It was like, we just want you to try out for it. And I said, okay, yeah, I'm down. I just kind of put my little spin on it. I had no idea it was a, it was a trilogy book. So I mm -hmm. um, just put my thing on it. And after that, they wanted me to read it for a chemistry. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll go in. And um, I got to work with the Mandela and Jen. And from there, the chemistry was just so so honest and smooth. You know, I just said, hey, why not? This is dope. And not every day you get to work like that. So so at which point did, did you ever try to pick up the uh, book and how far d did you finish this series or how far did you actually read it yourself? I actually didn't want to read too far into it. I got a little bit into it. I just wanted to see where Chubb's head was at and see, you know, what what he's like. But um, I try to kind of distance them the two so I keep some of my stuff on it and then still keep Chubb's alive, spirit alive throughout the movie because I know the fans really care about that. Yeah. Now, obviously, Chubbs is a supporting character, but did uh, Jennifer give you some kind of backstory or Alex gave you some kind of backstory to Chubbs? Jen gave me, um, in the book, his, his dad is actually involved heavily in making sure, like, actually getting the kids to the camps and um, being a first responder on the situation. And having that in mind for one of the scenes, actually, really helped me get, gain clarity on where to move forward with him. Because a lot of things with Chubbs is like, he's not, he's sophisticated in the sense where he's smart, but he's still processing and trying to figure out his emotion. Um, and he misses his parents. So her, Jen being able to let me know and tell me those things and kind of keep me on that headspace of this is where he should go, or this is where this, your feeling can come from, really gave me a lot of, uh, help in actually guiding him. Now, one of, one of the things that I think I've heard is that this is your first CGI film, right? Yeah, this, yeah. yeah. So, th so tell, tell us, what was that overall experience like? Would you want to do this again? Oh, yeah. Like, it, <laughs> uh, it was crazy at first, though, because... You know, you're you're not. It's exactly how they say, like on a Marvel movie, you watch the deleted scenes, and it's like you're not you're not looking at anybody. You're just staring and yelling at a wall. But um, I they really helped me and guided me through it, and um, I really enjoyed the process. They made it fun. So yeah, I would definitely do it again for sure. This is not a normal comic book movie, but more about friendship and family. So could you describe the friendship and family um, camaraderie that you developed on set with everybody else? We hung out a lot. So off off camera. Um, <laughs> and um, we actually got to really know each other. And I think um, just as far as like a fam, we actually felt like a family coming to work, essentially, because... Um, we also knew and kept in our minds that these characters are like family, so we should treat them like how you would treat a family member. Um, and honestly, at the end of the day, it just kind of went to the back of our brains and we just really linked together. So, um, And we had a lot of long days on set, so we're talking like 12 hours, 14 hours, and um, little Mia who plays Zoo, you know, has to go home early, but... Um, mm -hmm. We're spending nine to ten hours in a van, so we get to know a lot about each other. Are you sarcastic just like your character? Oh, man. I would say very. I would say very in a comedic sense. Um, yeah. Uh, but I say one thing where it's more like Chubbs is kind of, he's like a holds no barge mm -hmm. when it comes to letting people know where he's coming from mm -hmm. to check them out. I'm more like, we're all joking together. I try to keep it very, very light and everybody's in on the joke. I don't really do it on people like roasting. There we go. Yeah. Well, one last quick question. Um, if you were, had, could be any other color, what color would you like to be? <sighs> in, in the darkest minds yes, world? In yeah. The darkest minds world. <laughs> 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 no, no. We're, we're, we're talking about the darkest minds world. <laughs> Well, um, I would I would well. definitely because in the book he's a blue. 
I would love to be a blue. I actually talked to Jen a little bit, even on set um, a couple of times. I try to slide it in there as much as possible, uh, where it almost seems, it's kind of like an homage to the fans, actually, where I'm bending a spoon mm-hmm. and I'm kind of like, whoa, but it's not me. Liam's in the back actually bending the spoon for me. Uh, but, you know, we couldn't slide that in. So, <laughs> you know, that's okay. But blue, yeah. Excellent answer. Hey, thank you very much. Thank hey, you, I pre- appreciate it. Thank appreciate you. It. Thank you.